My name's Ben Seymour, I'm from Sydney here in Australia and I'm heading to Chile to run across the Atacama Desert, a 250km ultramarathon, self-sufficient, multi-stage event. The reason why I'm doing this is to push my limits both mentally and physically, find new boundaries to break and to have fun. So we're here on night one, the day started in San Pedro, we got the bus into camp here and amazing scenery driving in here and we got to drive past part of the trail that we'll be running tomorrow, 35 k's, uh, mostly downhill which will be uh, nice to start off with. So yeah, really looking forward to it, we've had an awesome night at camp, um, eating dinner and sitting around by the fire and now we're going to head to bed. So stage one got off to an absolute shocker. They started the gun and I probably didn't cross the line for at about 15 minutes. Um, as I was packing my bag, my bladder just leaked everywhere and I uh, drenched my bag, lost all my water. Um, so I quickly shoved it all back in there, did it up, um, didn't fill it up and just got running and um, they're about to close off the finish line, or the start line, sorry. And um, yeah, anyway, got over it and just thought, um, just run my race. Um, I ran some good pace, caught up to people that I wanted to run with. After checkpoint one, got to checkpoint two, felt all right. Just after checkpoint two, my feet just started burning. I had a few hot spots with blisters um, on my heels and all of my toes. My feet are absolutely... I've got all my toes caught. Just what you want on stage one. How's your blisters? They're gonna be sore. I went to check them out after. Done and dusted. Thank Beat for that. Um, so from checkpoint two to three and home, uh, I was a bit of a crawl, but I uh, managed to get in in about five and a half hours, I think it was, which I'm pretty happy with under six hours. Um, but right now I'm just refueling and uh, replenishing and getting ready for tomorrow and uh, strap the boots on and get ready and uh, attack it again. Run! Made the start, how good? I'm just lying down in my tent uh, after stage two, which was definitely uh, the hardest day of running I've ever uh, completed. Not because of the, um, the terrain or anything like that, just my feet just got absolutely ruined. We had some amazing locations. We went down into the slot canyons and we had about six kilometers of river crossings, I think 20 all up, and then ran down a big sand dune, uh, which was epic, and came into that checkpoint. I think it was checkpoint in the top 30, which I was stoked with. I was feeling really good, except for my feet. On there, I think it was about 11K crawl home and that probably took me about two and a half hours. I was hating life. I was using my poles as crutches because my feet were unbearable. Um, and yeah, it just wasn't fun at all. But I made it and uh, I don't even know if I want to go on to be honest. But I need to just check my feet, talk to the medical team and make a decision from there. Sorry. It's like it'd be better if you because it'll hopefully make it that fresh blood. So I can't sleep right now and um, I don't remember being in this much pain ever. And uh, I don't know if I can go on tomorrow. Just pretty devastating. I had to cut the front of my shoes to free up some space for my feet. The shoes were too small to start with and then once you get to altitude, you're running in the heat, your feet swell up um, to at least just to let my toes breathe. I'll probably run while my feet are cold and then when I can start feeling them, I'll chill out a bit. I've had some painkillers so uh, hopefully they work. Probably the toughest day to date in terms of terrain and distance but um, and the heat obviously it's uh, I don't know what it is but it feels like it's about 45 degrees um, felt really good out there today after cutting my shoes 
just forgetting about it and just running. As your feet. Okay, there you go. Right. <laughs> Good job. It's all blood and uh, being real positive. How you feeling, buddy? Goodbye. Doing all right? The front of my shoes off and it's giving me a bit of a break, so. Awesome. Just uh, keep going while it feels good, I guess. And just riding the highs, I guess, and grinding out the lows, and there weren't too many lows. <laughs> Are they the same shoes? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Keep going, Benny. Top 25, they're smashing it. But um, it's a fair bit of sand in my shoes, and there's lots of sand dunes, um, and a couple of river crossings. But um, it was probably the, the salt flaps. My feet were just going all over the place and kicking rocks. Um, so that wasn't fun, but um, it's done and dusted now and uh, 6 hours and 45 minutes, so I'm stoked with that. Okay. How are you feeling? Yeah, good. Yeah? Yeah, yeah I feel alright. Alright. Anything hurting? No, just my feet. Your feet? Okay. Definitely the wrong question. <laughs> Not a great <laughs> day for the hurt. feet. Yeah. Your feet actually look better today than they looked yesterday. I, I was thinking that, but then I was like, do I, do I just think that because I want to think that? Oh, they but, look like less swollen, less angry. They look a lot less angry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> do you feel this? Yeah. I just think the joys there, of maybe. running. It's just gonna drip. So this one might Sorry. hurt a little bit, okay? They're just not. My big toe. Yeah. And uh, now it's just rest up, recover, and get ready for tomorrow. So day four of running, longest distance we've done so far in about 48 k's. Probably wasn't the hardest in terms of terrain but it was definitely challenging being out there for a lot longer in the heat. Uh, so we started up in the mountains and up and down some sand dunes, which was challenging. 10 k's down, 32 to go. Then we came down into a valley, which was really nice. That is handsome, huh? Whoa. Fresh water in the stream there, which we had to cross a couple of times. Um, I had to stop at checkpoint one just to get another blister popped and uh, strapped up, knowing my luck. After that, it was all good to go. From there, we made it on, out onto the salt flats, which the terrain wasn't great. We just made it through the salt flat. That was just amazing. It was uh, pretty hard, harsh terrain. It looked like it was snowing, like you're walking on snow, but it definitely didn't feel like it. It felt like it was about 60 degrees. Um, so I just took it pretty easy and just walked and conserved as much energy as I could. It's hot out here. From here, it's a pretty compact road, so hopefully I'll be able to pick up a little bit of speed, but otherwise just uh, save it all for tomorrow for the big one. So I made up some good time there, and then towards the end I sort of just conserved a bit of energy. It was really, really hot out there. Uh, we've got a big day tomorrow with 80-odd uh, Ks. Yeah, happy to finish in uh, 23rd, which I'm absolutely stoked with. Very unexpected, and not that anything I'm going for at the moment, just trying to finish it. So now, yeah, just rest up, eat up. We don't have long to recover and then uh, into the hardest day tomorrow. Hoping to get in before midnight, but we'll see how we go. The long march, it's here. We've got 80 kilometers ahead of us. Most I've ever run is 50 kilometers, so it's definitely gonna be a challenge. 10 kilos on my back, and uh, a whole day of running ahead. Let's see if we can get it done. Checkpoint two on the long march, uh, come in an 18th. Uh, so feeling really good, long way to go, but uh, really enjoying it. Just coming into checkpoint four, just climbed a massive sand dune, and uh, felt like we are on the moon up the top there. Uh, amazing scenery, some um, crazy terrain, and uh, I'm looking forward to passing over the halfway mark. Not a sound, no, there's sound no life, not even an insect. Nothing. Oh, what was the terrain like in that first yeah. section? Oh, it was hard up there. It's, it's up pretty there, and on the way up there, a big sand dune, but before that, it's just disgusting. Excuse me. Okay. You guys don't water? Any water? Brits? Oh. Okay, well done, Jason. I'm looking to be burping the whole way. So, uh, <laughs> we're having a competition for the best cup burp today. Yeah, Ben, walk a few steps first. Don't, don't run. <laughs> oh, that's the winner! The winner. The winner. So far, we'll let you know the results later tonight. Tomorrow. I only think I'll be winning this week. <laughs> there you guys, thank you.
Uh, feeling really good. Luckily I'm running with Sham, who's a uh, very experienced runner. This is his third desert and uh, checkpoint five, we actually stopped for 20 minutes and had a meal. Feeling pretty good. My hips are a bit tight, compensating for my feet, but other than that, I'm good. I had some food, just get a few more electrolytes. I think we've got about half marathon to go. We've got about two checkpoints to go. Uh, feeling good, temperature's dropping. Um, so hopefully we can try and hold this pace or even pick it up a little bit. And, and sipping on tailwind and here. And uh, some chews, some gels and some salt tablets. So just trying to keep all bases covered. We're pretty lucky there's a good breeze out here. Although it's warm, it still keeps us a little bit cool. And I'm lucky to have the sham here pushing me along. Just come into La Valle de Luna, uh, also known as Valley of the Moon. Uh, awesome scenery around here, and we're not far from the finish line, so uh, we're just trying to pick up the pace and uh, get it done. Thanks, Doc. Strong finish. Oh, shit. Made it. Made it. You made it. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Oh. What's the feeling like right now? 80k day done. 8.06, just missed 8, 8 p.m. 12 hours and 6 minutes. Thanks to Hisham because uh, I wouldn't be able to get through that without um, him pulling me along and the awesome medics. Um, which I'll talk about a bit later but um, day two I wanted to quit until Julie threw me a pair of scissors and told me to harden up um, and now it's pretty much done 12k's 12.9k's to go you can try to run it but i know it's moody and it's going to want one more drop in that well one two three flip for ben about your your glucose is 113 and your um, hemoglobin is 14.3 so right about normal it was this morning 89.4 and just now is 88.5. So it's the last day here. Feeling really good, looking forward to finishing. I uh, really want to push myself today and uh, hopefully secure a good place in. Last stage. We've got seven k's to go. This is our terrain. So you're holding up well. Four k's to go. Tracking a six minute pace, trying to hold strong. Just taking off out of Bella de Luna and into the back of San Pedro. 1.5 k's to go. I'm speechless. There are no words to describe the sheer pain that I've gone through this week and the relief to finish after day two. I was tapping out and the hardest thing each day was just putting my shoes on. But the power of the mind will always carry you through and a purpose that is derived internally. Don't give a shit about anything external because it won't get you through the hard shit. When I saw that finish line, it was like no feeling I've ever had before. I could barely stand and it was by far one of the hardest weeks I've had. But as they put that medal around my neck, there was a sense of relief and accomplishment. It's a feeling I won't ever forget. Congratulations to everyone else that finished this race and uh, we all supported each other throughout the week and um, without each other I don't think we would have all got through it so it was awesome.
present to you the Under Armour Charged 2.0 version. It's convertible, free air conditioning, which is much needed in the desert. Doesn't come with a safety cap uh, rating at all though. But uh, in all seriousness, um, there's nothing wrong with these shoes at all. Um, it was due to my disorganization at the start and getting the wrong size, way too small. Um, when you are looking for a trail shoe, you need to obviously get it a size half or one one size bigger, um, just because of the movement, um, and especially on the terrain that we were running on. So um, I did have to just cut the top because to let my toes out um, and my pinky on one side and the other one just on the toes as well. But um, other than that, they got me 250 k's, and they're looking in pretty good nick except for the front of them. Um, so I'm very grateful to have a team like Under Armour behind me and working alongside. Um, these guys so I'm looking forward to uh, many more events like this believe it or not um, but I will endeavor to be a lot more prepared next time